Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop today, a treat especial. Hello, Dexcom blood sugar glucose monitoring machine. We're going to bolter, not this, but my own sanctimonious temple of my soul. That's right. This pierces into my belly and reads out directly what my blood sugar, speaking of piercing the sanctity of my temple, let's just move this big black dingus out of your face. A little bit disconcerting there. So this is going to go on my body. I've been cutting weight on account of a friend of mine. Went on a, a close buddy. Went on the old Ozempic. Got to inject himself with this drug that makes him feel so ill he doesn't want to eat. So I says to myself, I says, wait a second. Doesn't make you want to eat. Is there something to that vicious rumor that if you don't treat every meal... <laughs> like Thanksgiver. So now I'm super curious about becoming a cyborg. I'm going to stick this on my belly flab and we'll be able to monitor what happens when I don't eat. That is, I, I fast for extended periods and then go and have a delicious beer, a burger. Biohacking, you might say. It's going to be something. The printed instruction is on step one. C, already get confuddled. Uh, B, already get confuddled. I don't have that option. I don't have the receiver. So we're just going to go with what the app tells me, which is wipe your belly off with some alcohol, clean hands. And then you stick this on your belly on my right hand. Break off the safety tab. Where am I putting it here? Oh, fuck. Yeah, Harry. Okay, it's on. Break off the safety tab. It's going to go right into my Miller muscle, I can tell. Well, luckily, I don't have a six-pack anymore. Press to insert sensor. Oh, fuck. I don't like this. It's like jumping into cold water. You know what has to happen, so it's better just to fucking do it and quit being such a fucking pussy. Ow! Oh, that didn't hurt at all. It was more the noise. Whilst my newly installated cyborgery chooches, takes two hours to get up the temperature, apparently. <laughs> Again, in keeping with the theme of my wife, apparently this subcutaneous or rather adipose tissue, that's a nice word for belly fat, doesn't measure the same as blood glucose if you're doing a pinprick. So I don't have one of those pinprickeries. I think I'm going to have to go get one in order to coincide the two readings. That is, uh, you know, have a standard. What you call that? Calibrate! That's the word. It works, it's working, and just a period away from having a good time. She's been chewing for a while. I don't like it on my stomach. It's not uncomfortable. It's not painful, but it's there. And I'm sure I'll get used to it. I kind of feel stooped over on account of not wanting to lead with my dick do and have it rip out of me. The thing's rather expensive. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, it's been a while since I hit, and that hasn't been calibrated yet. So I don't know. Seems bloody high to me to have a blood sugar like that after a meal, but I did have leftover pasta and there was good and plenty of it. The day is the moral and the night last. Baby doll can tell something was up. Pacing around. She asked, me, wow, baby doll, I got a little prick in my side. It's distinctly uncomfortable. Piercing the sanctity of your own temple. She says to me, you're such a P-U-S-S-Y. Come here, let me get an applicator tip and we'll jam one in you. See how it feels to walk around with a tampon in your ass. I wasn't sure that was how it works, but she's the expert. Needless to say, when you're trying to relax and you got something in your body what's not supposed to, it's not normally there, it's a little bit hard on your countenance. So what I ended up doing, it's not painful, it's... It was a little achy, but it was more just uncomfortable. And one of the things I do not like is that my boy and my daughter come running up to me and I'm all I'm worried about knocking this Jesus thing off. So that's not the greatest. 
I have absolutely now, after sleeping the night through, except for when it alarmed because it stopped communicating. It was more than six meters away. I charged my phone away from where I'm sleeping. Reasons. You can't wear your tinfoil hat everywhere, especially not to bed. So the bloody thing alarmed, woke up the whole house. Uh, you got to go in and turn off all the alarms. Like, kind of a pain in the ass. But I bought one of these things, what, for calibrating it. So we should see if we're close or if we're not close. As we can see, I had a big Rita McNeil a roux, homemade roux, uh, macaroni and cheese with a little side salad. Didn't do anything to my blood. Nothing at all. There's the section there where uh, I died. After I had a big feed of macaroni, my blood sugar spiked a tiny, tiny bit. And I started easing back down. So, for the sake of YouTube, I, for, you know, science. I had a, a big mitt full of mango, which is essentially just sugar. And nothing happened, so I had some Twizzlers. And furthermore, nothing happened. So then I went to bed. And then I died in the middle of the night. And I woke up. And now we're just kind of putting along. I haven't eaten today. I don't intend to eat today. And I'm doing just fine. You get used to it. Your, your liver starts to get in shape when you, when you do a little fasting and... It ain't no thing not to eat. Here's the, the, the thing about the, my buddy with the Ozempic. He can't buy the Jesus stuff anymore because apparently it's all going to the States. They're having Ozempic parties to lose weight. Ozempic, for him, makes you feel like crap so he doesn't stick as much food down his gullet. So I set to stinking about that. Doesn't stick as much food down his gullet. There's something to that. So... I just cut out the middleman, and I don't stick as much food down my gullet. I feel fan fantastic. Holy old fuck, boys. This is a right pain in the cunning linguals, old son. And I call you old son on account of knowing your mother so well. You got to dick around. You get the diabetes. <laughs> You're constantly dicking around with teeny tiny pricks. <laughs> I'll refrain from telling that joke on account of your girlfriend still in the room. But yeah, I think I'd rather have a hot a quarter of whiskey and take that long swim rather than getting the diabetes. Look at this, they're constantly drawing blood. Not only that, they make you read the manual. I'll probably have to wash my hands too. Okay, she's cock blocked and ready to go. That doesn't look so mean. They get you on these test strips. You gotta buy the whole package, 50 of them. 50 bucks or a buck a strip. I tell you, I'll be thinking twice before having a refill on that super squishy. Okay, here we go. Uh, a meaty part of the finger. Yeah. Fuck, I don't like this. I should just cut myself. Look, a real tear. Okay, that's that. Channel is full of blood through capillary action. Okay, okay, okay. Stick that in there like that. Error two. Oh, mm. uh, it's one of these devices. You got to be smarter than the tool. Need another test strip. Good thing we brought fifty of the bloody things. There we go. Now it's looking for blood. Okay. Oh, we go like that. And then, then what? Huh? And then you put it in. Oh, for the love of fuck. Okay, okay. <laughs> Mm -mm. Ah, oh, fuck. I intended to do it, now I can't do it.
I know. I know. I know. It's a thing. It's a control thing. It works. It's working. Let's compare that to my subcutaneous adipose tissue measurement. Good enough for the girls we go out with. This is the subcutaneous Dexcom adipose tissue sampling. If you'd focus, you fuck. Hey, don't bother. It says five knot. 5.3. There you have it. Quite out of fact, and in the citizen sciencery, not nearly as glorious as the Corn Huskers Association of America will have you know, diabetes ain't no fun. I got new respect for Fala's finger farting around with tiny pricks. <laughs> Quite frankly, it ain't for me. However, if I had to do it, oh, these bloody things, a buck a piece. And you see, you go through them like, yeah. It's uncomfortable at first, and I am worried about, well, say, splitting wood. Or doing chin-ups. However, it's continuously monitoring, so that's interesting on the biohacking side, just for watching. I'm gonna do some exercise. I'm fasting at the moment. We'll continue a fast, and I'll break my fast after 72 hours with an ice cold beer, and we'll see how my pancreas do. Other than that, yeah, I would recommend this. It ends up being a wash, the same price, I think. You know, especially you got to test three, four, 18 times a day. These things in Canada are costing 300 bucks for three of them. That gives you 30 days worth of monitoring. I haven't had any glitches other than, as I say, just worried about the thing falling off. I haven't been splitting wood or doing chin-ups or anything because I'm, I'm worried about it. And it is a little uncomfortable. There is that deep-seated idea that there is something in you that doesn't belong there kind of sets your anxiety on edge. But other than that, yeah, grab that Mountain Dew. Wormhole closes in five.